Shalom. I'm the brother Kota Zapsayan, coming back through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh with another lesson. But before I go on, I want to say Kal Halal Yamla Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai Basham Rekakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the Akim that is spread around the four corners of the earth, spreading this word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom to the of Israel. Khan Akim. So I'm back again with a, a quick prayer to cast away the old men and evil spirits, you know, because what does Colossians, let me jump to it, what does Colossians 3 and 9 say? This is Colossians 3 and 9. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds. Let me read the next verse also. And have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Gone. Let me read the one above it also. It's Colossians 3 and 8. But now you also put off all these things, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth, lie not one to another. Gone. So the scripture says that uh, you should be angry and you should sin not, you know. So you put off that anger. You make place for wrath, you know, as Romans, Romans uh, 8, the 8th chapter says, I believe. Malice, you know, malicious uh, dealings. Don't be malicious uh, one to another. Blasphemy. You're not blaspheming the, the, the spirit, you know. Filthy communication out of your mouth. Gone. So your commun communication should always be holy, you know. Lie not one to another because that's one of the, the top commandments also. You know, you shouldn't bear false witness. Which is what goes into lying, saying that you have put off the old man with his deeds. So now you, you have come into this knowledge and the truth of Yahweh Basham Yahweh and you are trying to put off the old man. You have put off the old man and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Khan. Because uh, Yahweh created us in his image, you know, with his truth. You know the laws were in our, in uh, was wasn't written down back then. We knew it. You know we knew it in our mind. It was uh, verbal. But now you are trying to put off that old man. You know, but it's hard because you were entangled in the snares of the devil. We all were ensnared in the in the devil. You know the web that he weaves for the the poor to be entangled in. But now you're trying to seek him ten times more, you know, as the scriptures say. And in so doing, I had made this prayer, which goes into casting off the old man and evil spirits also. Because even King David, nah, I mean, Salakia, ex-King Saul, was plagued by evil spirits and David King David had to had to subdue it. Let me see. That's in the book of First Samuel sixteen. Verse twenty three. First Samuel sixteen, verse twenty three. And it came to pass when the evil spirit from Yahweh was upon Saul, that David took an harp and played with his hand. So Saul was refreshed and was well, and the evil spirit departed from him. God. So you see, when you're being plagued by these evil spirits from Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, because he also sent evil spirits, you know, it's the, it's uh, what you could do is that you could play music, you know, play music like a, like a harp, you know, one single instrument, a piano, you know. 
play classical music, classic music, you know. So that's going to put your soul at ease and it's going to make this evil spirit to flee. Because that what, that's what King David did to help ex-King Saul to relieve himself from this uh, evil spirit. So you could play classic music, play a harp, and you could uh, go into this prayer. Because I carefully put this prayer together so that the brethren may use this. So I'm going to read it. This is a prayer to cast away the old man and evil spirits. It starts, it reads, I pray thee, cast away my old path and evil spirits from me. I pray thee, increase my courage and confidence. Please, please, please. You see? Let us do the spirit. And I want to include this in it, in here right now. Salt through the spirit. Bear with me for a second. While I modify this. So what it says, what it reads is, I pray thee, O Yahweh, cast away my old path and evil spirits from me. I pray thee, increase my courage and confidence, please, please, please. So now it's, uh, I'm going to read it in the Lashawan Kodash, which reads, Na'a Yahweh, shalach ha natayap, nashan shalakya. Let me read it again. Na'a Yahweh shalach ha natayap yashan wa rakayam rai manya, which means, I pray thee, O Yahweh, cast away my old path and evil spirits from me. And the second line, the second sentence, Na'a tarap amataza wa bayasha hawan babukisha babukisha babukisha. Which reads, I pray thee, increase my courage and confidence, please, please, please. So I'm going to read it again completely. Na'a Yahweh Salah Ha Natayap Yashan Ba Rahayam Rai Manya Na'a Tarab Amataza Wa Bayasahawan Babkisha Babkisha Babkisha. Gone. So this is a prayer that your brothers, that your brethren can use to cast off the old man and evil spirits from you, you know, and to increase your courage and confidence in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. So I hope that your brothers can use this, and I want to say Kala Lal Yamla Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai Basham Rekha Kodash Shalom Akim.